Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm showing you how you can use your sourdough discard to make these delicious eggless coconut rose muffins. The first thing you want to do is make a batch of all your dry ingredients. So here I have some all-purpose flour and to that I am going to add some cornstarch. Once I have added some cornstarch, then I'll add some dried coconut flakes or grated dried coconut and to that I am going to add some baking powder and some sea salt. Now I am going to give all of these ingredients a really good whisk so that they all come together and combine really well and I am going to keep this aside. Now we will start working on our wet ingredients. So here in a bowl I have some caster sugar and to that I am going to add some cold pressed coconut oil. Um, also use your whisk to break any lumps from the caster sugar. You want it to be homogeneous and smooth. Then I will obviously like I mentioned earlier some cold pressed coconut oil. You can add any oil of your choice. I generally prefer using non refined cold pressed oils. So I've used coconut and I'll just give it a good whisk until all of the sugar mixes well with the oil. Now into this I'm going to add my sourdough starter discard. There is an entire recipe on my YouTube channel on how to make your own sourdough starter to make delicious sourdough breads which are very artisan and when you feed the starter you're left with some discard so instead of throwing it away we make these delicious goods. There's an entire playlist on the delicious things you can make with the sourdough discard. Give it a good whisk until the discard mixes well with the coconut oil and sugar mix. Now we'll add some milk I'm using full fat milk uh, in this recipe after adding firstly I'll just whisk it really slow until it just starts to mix well with the rest of the ingredients and then I'll just whisk it rigorously what you're looking for is for the milk to be mixed really well with the rest of the wet ingredients and this is what it should look like now I'm going to add some rose water this is 100% pure rose water if you're using extract then you would have to use slightly less because extracts are very very strong but I've used pure rose water so I've added a little more and all the ingredients are down in the description box below now I'll pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredient mix a little at a time so I try to divide this into three batches instead of adding all of the wet ingredients in one go because that can make your batter lumpy and hard to mix thoroughly so add it in three batches this is the second batch that I've added of the wet ingredients and I'm just going to whisk until all of the dry ingredients mix well you'll see that it starts to get really difficult to whisk it because the dry ingredients are obviously a lot more than the wet at this point so now when I add the final installment of that wet ingredient mix you'll see that initially it's a little difficult but keep whisking and it'll loosen up like so and you see that it's really well combined at this point now it's time to make this batter nice and light and airy and we do that very um, easily by adding some baking soda to apple cider vinegar as soon as it starts to bubble and get fizzy we immediately add this to the batter and give it a quick whisk until everything is well combined now i'm just going to let this rest for one hour at room temperature covering it with a damp cloth kitchen towel you can also make this without the sourdough starter discard and if you want to both versions are mentioned in the description box below and on my website so don't forget to check it out now it's been an hour and I have lined my cupcake tray with some white cupcake liners and I'm just going to fill this three quarters of the way through and my oven is preheating at 160 degrees Celsius so as soon as uh, it's about 15 minutes before the one hour mark so 45 minutes into the resting phase of the cupcake batter I am going to preheat my oven to 160 degrees Celsius and then 15 minutes later I'll start filling up my cupcake molds about three a little less than three quarters of the way and these will bake in the oven for 20 to 22 minutes or until a skewer inserted in the center emerges clean and you let it rest at room temperature for about 10 to 15 minutes before transferring to a wire rack to cool completely 
Now while our cupcakes are baking, I am going to make this icing which is basically just icing sugar and some rose water. We are making this basically as a glue for the coconut and rose to stick to the cupcakes or the muffins. Now my muffins are out of the oven and I have let them cool down completely for about 2 hours. Now I am going to take that glue that we made with icing sugar and rose water and spread it on one half of the muffin on the top and then I'm going to sprinkle these uh, coconut flakes and dried rose petals on one half of that muffin which we used uh, which we put the glue on and we're just going to repeat this with the rest of the muffins and look how delicious and so cute they look I just love how it looks and I just want to bite right into it and I'm going to open one just to show you its structure and the sourdough starter discard really gives it a very good texture and flavor but you can obviously make it without and it won't affect it it won't affect the taste and texture it will still be just as delicious i'm just going to break into this muffin so you can look how stunning the crumb looks on the inside and it's really soft and spongy and fluffy and delicious i really hope you enjoyed this recipe for the sardo discard coconut rose muffins if you did then please give this video a big thumbs up also subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified every time i post a new video i'll see you again next time until then goodbye and happy baking